In this video, I will be showing you how you can withdraw cryptocurrency from your KuCoin account to your bank account or bank card. This is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you follow along by the end of this video, you will be able to withdraw your funds from KuCoin to your bank account or bank card. Okay, so the first thing that I want to preface this by saying is that KuCoin is not primarily a fiat exchange. So it is a little bit harder or a little bit more complicated to do than on other exchanges. Either way, it is possible and I will show you how you can do this in this video. So the first thing that you want to do is just come over to KuCoin right here. And then if you go over to this asset tab, click on the overview, it's then going to show you an overview of your wallet. So if I just go to assets right here, you can see these are all of the assets that I am currently holding on KuCoin. What I will do is I will just use Litecoin as an example right here, and I will show you how I can withdraw this $20 worth of Litecoin to my personal bank account. Now, the first thing that you want to do is any cryptocurrency that you have, the first thing that you need to do is transfer this to USDT or another stablecoin. I prefer USDT to do this, so this is what I'm going to use in this video. So as I said, the first thing that we need to do is get rid of this, get rid of Litecoin and transfer this all to USDT. So to do this, the first thing that we need to do is if you go over to account right here, you need to make sure that all of these funds are in funding. So right now my Litecoin is in my trading account. I want to transfer this over to funding. So to do this, I simply click into my trading account right here, find my Litecoin, or whichever coin you want to transfer. Click on transfer on this right hand side and then make sure this is from my trading account to my funding account. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer all of this. Now, as you can see, that is no longer in my trading account. If I go over to funding, you can see my Litecoin is now here. Once you have done this and whichever coin you want to withdraw is in your funding account, you then want to go over to trade at the top and go down to the convert option. Go ahead and click into convert. And then in here, we want to go for Litecoin or whichever coin, as I say, make sure that this is your coin selected that you want to withdraw. And then in get, we are just going to change this to USDT. Once that has been selected, you just want to enter in the amount of your coin that you would like to change to USDT. I'm just going to go for max here and then we can click on confirm. As you can see, my USDT has been transferred to my trading account, which is pretty annoying. I don't want that to be the case. So once again, I just go back over to assets, go to my trading account right here, and then you can see my USDT is there. So all I'm going to do is click on transfer once again, make sure that this is going from my trading account to my funding account. And then I think it was like 19.71. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And then all we have to do is click on confirm. So once you have this all set up, you have your USDT in your funding account. This is where we can now go ahead and withdraw this to your bank account or bank card. So to do this, what we want to do is go up to where it says buy crypto in this top left corner and click on this option for fast trade. Now, of course, we are not buying cryptocurrency. Instead, we are going to sell. So click on this sell section right here. And then all we have to do is choose the amount of USDT that you want to get rid of. As you can see, if I sell 19 USDT, I will receive almost 16 pounds. And then you can choose how this is received. So you can choose to go with the GBP balance or you can choose from all of these. Now, this is absolutely fantastic. We can only go with Netella. And as you can see, there's no option to withdraw this straight to my bank. So we have to go another way about this. And this is what I mean when I say that KuCoin is not meant to be used for fiat. But as I said, there is a way to actually go ahead and withdraw this. Because I'm in the UK, I'm just going to be using GBP right here. It works the exact same way for US dollars. Uh, let me actually test something out here if I go for USD. Does this give us more options? So you can go with like web money right here or they have a lot more options. You can go with Payio, Prex, any of these right here you can also choose to basically withdraw your USD too. I'm going for GBP. So all I'm going to do here 
is click on GBP balance. So if I sell the USDT, this is then going to give me, if I confirm this, as you can see, my USDT has been sold. And if I now go back over to view my assets, I now have my GBP. So from here, now that I have my GBP, what I am then going to do is go over to assets, click into this right here. And if I go to my assets now, I can see that I now have a fiat currency. So what I can now do is go over here to more, click on withdraw right here. Once again, it's going to ask you to withdraw crypto. This is not what we want to do. We instead want to withdraw fiat. And then as you can see in the fiat section, we can then choose to withdraw GBP. And this is where I can go ahead, choose my bank. So I will go for a bank transfer right here as the fee is so much less. Then in withdraw, I can choose to add an account. So I click add account. Go ahead and fill out my information right here of where I want to withdraw this crypto to. Select the amount that you want to withdraw and then click on withdraw. So as I say, they make it pretty complicated in order to actually withdraw your cryptocurrency to your bank account or card, but it is possible and that is how you can do that. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.